Electronics. So in this video we are going to see a recruitment news from IIT Guwahati. So we are going to see all details in this video, the post details, the qualification, application procedure, selection procedure, everything we are going to see in this video. And also I want to tell you that in this channel we are doing preparation classes for all important examinations happening for electronics and also we are doing subject preparation classes. So if you are interested in watching the subject videos, there is separate subject playlist created. So you can find all the topics of that subject in that playlist. Okay. So the all important subjects like DSP, ITC, network, analog electronics, digital circuits, all important subjects we are covering. So there is separate subject, subject wise playlist created. Okay. And also for all the major examinations or recruitments happening, we have, uh, we are doing preparation classes and there is also separate playlist for all those exams. Okay. So let us see the recruitment news from IIT Guwahati. So first let us see the post details. The first post is assistant project engineer. Second one is project technician. Third one is junior research fellow. And the fourth one is project engineer. So this post mostly all the posts are actually asking for freshers only one or two posts is asking for experience okay so this is actually a freshers recruitment mainly and the selection process is actually very simple there is only an online interview that is google meet based or a skype based interview is only present there is no examination and also there is no fees for applying okay so this is a very golden opportunity for a lot of people out there okay so let us see the qualification details nextly so the qualification for assistant project engineer is you should be having B, B tech in the branches like mechanical engineering, computer science, electronics and communication or electrical and electronics with a valid gate score. Then for the second post which is project technician, the qualification is three years diploma or you should be having ITI plus experience of three years. Okay. That is either ITI plus three years of diploma or ITI plus experience. And the branches they are recruiting are again electronics, mechanical, triple and computer science. And you don't require any experience for project technician. Okay. Then third one is JRF that is junior research fellow. The branches, the qualification you are requiring is either MSc or BTEC in EC, triple mechanical, computer science or civil engineering. So mostly all the branches are actually eligible. Okay. There is opening for all the branches. Okay. Then the last one is project engineer. The project engineer is actually a senior recruitment and you are requiring a PhD for that post and PhD in mechanical is being recruited. Okay. So that is the qualification details. Mostly all post or mostly all category of recruitments are actually for freshers. Only the first post that is assistant project engineer is requiring a gate score also. Others other category doesn't require gate score or anything. You just require a B, B tech or a diploma. Okay. So that is the qualification. Next is the application procedure. For applying, you can find a link in the notification itself. If you click on that link, you will get an application form. You have to fill up the application form. Then convert that to the PDF. Convert that to PDF form. And along with your CV, that is your resume and all your certificates, you have to make a single PDF file and then send that PDF file to the given mail ID. Okay. The mail ID is also given in the notification. Okay. So that is the application procedure. And the last date for applying is actually 15th of December. Only two or three days is left for applying. So please do apply for it as soon as possible. There is no fees for applying. So you should always try your luck. Okay. So that is the application procedure. The selection procedure I have already explained to you it is uh, very simple. There is only an online interview that too. There will be Skype based or a Google Meet based interview is only there as a selection process. Okay. And the interview will be on the 21st of December. That is the date of interview also they have mentioned. 21st of December Monday will be the interview date. Okay. And after applying, you will get to know that whether you are getting shortlisted or not. On 16th of December, they will publish the list on 16th of December. That is the next day itself, they will be publishing the list. Okay. So that is the details. Now talking about the salary, the salary also is very attractive. For the first post, that is assistant project engineer. The salary is 34,310 per month. Then project technician, it is actually for diploma people. So the salary is 18,650. For junior research fellow, 
same salary, 18,650 per month. Then for the project engineer, the salary is very high, 58,090 per month is the salary. Okay, so this project, uh, this is actually for project recruitments, right? And it is for a duration of 11 months. Okay, they have not actually talked about the extension of this this job or this post but it is for 11 months but again you can always give it a try because a lot of people are actually looking for job and you don't get a lot of openings during this time so this is actually a good one in my viewpoint because it is not having any examination or there is no fees for applying so you can always try your luck okay so please go through the notification first if you think that you're eligible please to apply for it as soon as possible okay the last date is only that is on 15th of December, two or three days is only left. So please do apply for it as soon as possible. Okay. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.